want to show you a simple but very effective exercise to build up some leg strength. Now, leg strength is extremely important in tennis and most tennis players don't realize that. I still see way too many people going on endurance runs in order to prepare for their tennis matches. Now, when you're playing a point in tennis, you have to move and cover very short distances and do that a few times throughout a point, ideally in an explosive manner, and after that you get to rest for 20 seconds and that cycle repeats itself over and over in a tennis match. Therefore, in order to prepare for a tennis match, you should focus more on sprints and strength and less on endurance. Now, from my experience, most tennis players actually pick up enough endurance simply by playing a lot of tennis. All right, so the basic exercise that I want to show you guys is called the lunge. And the great thing about this exercise is that you can do it anywhere without any equipment and unless you have some sort of injury, anybody can do it to get your legs stronger, okay? Let me go ahead and demonstrate. I'm gonna turn around sideways here. You're gonna start with your feet about shoulder width apart in this position, and then you're gonna step forward with a big step like this and go down into a lunge position. Now there are a couple things that are important to focus on. You can see my knee here is roughly above my, my heel. You do not want your knee to move forward over your toes because that's not good for your knees, okay? That's also why it's important to make a big step out. Now you're down this lunge position, you can see my other knee is almost to the ground, okay? That's why we're also training flexibility with this. I'm on my toes with my back foot, okay? And then from here, I push off back into this position. Now, I like to do alternating legs. So from here, I would go with the left leg and do the same thing. Big step out, lunge position like this. And then my knee is almost to the ground. This knee is roughly over the heel. My hands are by my hips. And then I push off, okay? Let me show you a couple in a row. You always hold for a brief moment before you come back up, okay? Just a very brief moment. Go down, lunge and back up and again down up you have to have a stability in your core with this exercise and then you do it over and over and it really works your leg strength and also your core here to um, keep you stable now I always like people to measure their progress with these sorts of exercises and the great thing here is you can simply start and do however many you can do until your legs get tired. So let's say you start with 10 and then the next time you come back maybe you do 12 and then you work your way up until you can maybe a couple of weeks later you can do 20 or 30 and then a couple of months down the road maybe you can do 100 if you have strong legs. Now another option to measure your progress and something that I like my students to do a lot is to do rounds around the tennis court. So you start back by the fence and then you go with your lunges sideways and then you go all the way around the tennis court or however far you can make it. So in the beginning you, maybe you can make it half a round and then later you can do a full round and eventually if you're really strong maybe you can do two rounds. Alright, so much for the lunge. It's something very easy to get started with that leg strength and leg strength is super important. Just have a look on TV and watch those guys. All of them have really, really strong legs. If you haven't done so yet, head over to our homepage and sign up for the free newsletter. You'll receive my top 5 video tips to improve your game straight to your inbox.